Bienvenidos. Welcome to another episode of Spain on a Fork. As always, it is so great to have you here. I hope you're staying safe and healthy and feeling fabulous at the same time. Anyways, today we have another delicious recipe. We're making Spanish potatoes with a spicy garlic sauce. This is known here in Spain as patatas al pilpil. Pil. It's basically made by frying some potatoes in extra virgin olive oil until they're golden fried. And then you coat them in a very simple sauce that's made with garlic, white wine, and sweet and hot smoked Spanish paprika. Folks, this recipe is so easy to make. It truly has the most incredible textures and flavors, and it's all done in just 30 minutes. Let's begin by grabbing a large fry pan, heating it with a medium heat, Important to use a medium heat here, nothing higher. Otherwise, the potatoes are going to brown too quickly on the outside and not fully cook in the inside. And I'm going to add in a generous half cup of extra virgin olive oil, which is 125 milliliters. While the olive oil is heating, I'm going to cut three medium-sized potatoes that have been peeled, washed, and patted dry, each one into small pieces that are half an inch thick, which is about one and a quarter centimeters. And as you can see, I peel the potatoes for this recipe, as that's how they're traditionally prepared to make this dish, but if you prefer, you can keep the peels on the potatoes. Once all the potatoes are cut, let's move back to the fry pan with the olive oil. It's been heating for about five minutes, so that oil should be nice and hot, but as you can see, it's not smoking, so it hasn't lost any of its beautiful flavor. At this point, I'm gonna start adding the pieces of potato into the pan. I like to add them in there in batches, instead of dumping them all in there at once, that way none of that hot oil splashes out of the pan. And we're gonna give this a quick mix, that way all the potatoes are coated in the olive oil. And you don't have to mix this continuously, but do get in there every three to four minutes, that way all the potatoes are evenly fried. While our potatoes are frying, let's get the rest of our ingredients ready. I'm gonna grab six cloves of garlic, remove the skins from each clove, and thinly slice them. And I'm also gonna reserve half a teaspoon of sweet smoked Spanish paprika, which is 1.15 grams, and half a teaspoon of hot smoked Spanish paprika, which once again is 1.15 grams. The hot smoked paprika is what gives heat to this dish. You'll find a link where you can get the two paprikas I'm using for this recipe in the description box below. All right, let's move back to our potatoes. We've been cooking them between 20 to 22 minutes, and as you can see, they have a beautiful golden fried color to them. Once again, I've been mixing them around every three to four minutes, that way they're evenly fried. At this point, they should be perfectly cooked. You know, you can always pierce them with a toothpick, and if it easily goes in, they are ready to go. I'm gonna remove the pan from the heat, and we'll drain the potatoes into a sieve with a bowl underneath. I'm gonna use a little bit of that remaining olive oil from the potatoes to make the sauce, and the rest of it, I'm just gonna store it and use it for future recipes. For the final step, let's make the spicy garlic sauce. I'm gonna heat the same pan with a medium heat, and add in two tablespoons of the reserved olive oil from the potatoes, which is 30 milliliters. After heating the olive oil for one minute, I'm gonna add in the sliced garlic, and mix the garlic around with the olive oil. You wanna make sure to mix it continuously, that way the garlic doesn't brown too quickly and it all evenly sautés. After about one minute and that garlic is lightly sautéed, you don't wanna brown it too much. I'm gonna add in a half teaspoon of sweet smoked Spanish paprika and the half teaspoon of hot smoked Spanish paprika. And we'll give this a quick mix, that way those paprikas are evenly coating the slices of garlic. Then I'm gonna add in half a cup of white wine, which is 120 milliliters. You can substitute the wine for the same amount of broth with a couple drops of lemon juice. And we'll give it a quick mix and simmer it for a couple minutes. After about three minutes and the white wine has reduced in half, I'm gonna add in the fried potatoes back into the pan and we'll season everything with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And we're gonna give this a gentle mix, that way each piece of potato is coated in that spicy garlic sauce. Once everything is well mixed, I'm gonna remove the pan from the heat and transfer everything into a serving dish.
and we'll sprinkle it with some finely chopped parsley or Spanish potatoes with a spicy garlic sauce is done, known here in Spain as patatas al pilpil. Pil. You saw it very easy to make and the aromas coming out of it are mind-blowing good. Let's give it a try and see how it tastes. Seriously, these potatoes came out looking so good. Here we go. Absolutely delicious. The potatoes just melt in your mouth, but they kept their shape. And just for the flavors with that sauce, you have the white wine, all that sliced garlic, and the sweet and hot smoked Spanish paprika for the perfect balance of heat and flavors. You saw this very easy to make. Comes together in about 30 minutes. Try these potatoes at home. You are not gonna believe how good they are, truly. One of the best potato dishes we've done here on the show. They are that good. Really quick before I go, a shout out to a couple of my patrons, William Judd, Patricia Salem, Manuel J. Rosales, and Edward J. Harrison. Again, guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. For the rest of you, if you're not with me on Patreon, consider becoming one as it really helps with ingredients and equipment to continue making videos like this. You'll find my Patreon in the description box below and I card above. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button. Leave me a comment below and if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Smash that subscribe button. Till the next time, hasta luego.